Well, it was a conflict that lasted 10 long years and claimed the lives of 521 Australians. Today, nearly 60,000 Aussie men and women who served in the Vietnam War will be honoured at services across the nation. Ben Hennessy joins us now. Ben, good morning to you. Now, today originally commemorated the Battle of Long Tan, but it's since been adopted by all veterans. Yeah, Tim, it has, and uh, this year actually marks 40 years since the end of the Vietnam War. And as you mentioned there, Vietnam Veterans Day is a day we can remember the sacrifices that were made by men and women who served during that 10-year conflict. And one of those people that served joins me this morning. It's Richard Williams, who is the president of the Vietnam Veterans Association. Richard, thank you for your time this morning. Can you tell me a bit about uh, your time in Vietnam? What, what do you remember of it? It's um, been... I left Sydney on midnight on the 30th September 1970, uh, arrived in Saigon 1st of October, a rather change in weather, um, sat around for a fair bit of the day waiting for a Wallaby flight to Nui Dat to join my unit, uh, one field squadron workshops, um, got there, got into some more comfortable clothes, issued with a rifle and some ammunition and a bed somewhere to sleep. Um, yeah met some of the blokes and I guess it all went on from there. And uh, as we mentioned there, it was originally commemorating the Battle of Long Tan, Vietnam Veterans Day. Can you tell me about that battle and why it's so significant to Australia? Yes, the Battle of Long Tan, the 18th of August 1966, the Nui Dat Task Force base had been rocketed and shelled in the early hours of the 17th of August and patrols had been out looking for the mortar bases and that. Um, D Company 6 RAR were out patrolling on the 18th and contacted a, a small group of NVA um, soldiers and on following up with them they were pretty much ambushed and the battle began there um, lasting about three hours. Um, the weather conditions didn't allow air support, they relied on artillery support and being dropped in very close to their position because that's where the enemy were. Um, unfortunately after about three hours A Company and B Company 6 RAR and one troop uh, armoured personnel carriers were able to reinforce them and the enemy withdrew. Uh, I believe it was just over a hundred Australian men and estimated two and a half thousand enemy and they were massing to try and um, launch an attack on the task force base. So a significant battle with uh, significant losses for yes. Australia. Uh, Richard, the Vietnam War at the time was somewhat controversial. Do you feel like Vietnam veterans get the same recognition as other veterans given that controversy at the time? Yeah, it was a very unpopular war and I guess in Australia conscription was not popular. Um, and at the time, yeah, veterans returning from Vietnam and even soldiers in Australia were probably vilified a little bit, but hopefully things have changed now over the years and, uh, yeah, certainly we get better acceptance now. All right, well, Richard, thank you very much for your time this morning and all the best Thanks, for yeah. today. Thank you, uh, There's plenty of opportunity for people to get involved today. There are a number of services on, including in Netherlands at 8 o'clock this morning at the Perth War Cemetery, 11 o'clock in Stirling at the City of Stirling Memorial Gardens, 11 o'clock in Mandra at the Mandra Vietnam War Memorial and 11 o'clock this morning in East Vic Park at the East Vic Park RSL. So if people have the time today, Tim, they should try and get down to one of those services and get involved. Yeah, absolutely. Good on you, Ben. Thank you.